What's going on? It's your girl Fathom DJ checking in. I've had like the craziest two days since I posted the Sierra comment. Um, my disclaimer is this. Don't know Sierra. Not personally attacking her as a human being. Um, just questioning the concept of doing. It's my concept and my questioning of Sierra was basically um, because of the fact that the photo shoot that she did was incredibly dramatic to me. And I mean, it's my opinion. And you guys are having your own opinions as well. But my comments on her were not to attack her as a person. Um, and I've gotten so many overwhelmingly wonderful and intelligent people who are uh, super duper fans of Sierra, which I love. Love the concept that you people are going to bat for for Sierra. And um, some of you guys have real firm history of her, have watched her since the beginning of her career, and have truly followed this girl. And that's what she needs, the base of people who, um, who are down for her regardless to what she does. Um, I sent a couple comments back to people. One particular person, I can't remember um, what their logon name is, but I sent one comment back, and I was just like, "Wow, you should be on her street team," because I went to their their um, their YouTube page, and it's like all Sierra. These people are like massive fans of this girl, so I think that's really hot. But what I don't think is hot is the the verbal negativity that's being lashed at me like you know what I'm saying like I'm going I Sierra that bitch shouldn't be naked on the cover of Vibe magazine woo 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 nah the honest to God reason why I post posted the Sierra um the Sierra comment was because I wanted to open the floor for dialogue about what people thought about what she did because I had thoughts about what she did. I had thoughts about Vibe Magazine and about the concept of why they thought it would be hot for her to pose naked on the cover of Vibe Magazine. Thoughts. So I put up this particular posting because I wanted to open the floor to see what people thought. And I know based on the fact that we are prone to only speak to negativity, to only respond to people's un, unpositive comments about people, that we miss the concept of what really is the issue. So to clarify this, and it might be a two-part, my issue is not specifically with Sierra as a person. I don't know her. My issues are not, my issues, just my thoughts, I shouldn't say issues, my thoughts around the fact that what I'm asking, the question that I'm still asking is, do we have to, or do we feel like we have to be naked, we, because there are people who live in my hood, you know what I'm saying, where I'm from, as women, who feel like they don't feel womanly unless their womanly features are showing. There are people who don't feel valid as women unless men can see their womanliness. I can't leave the house without makeup on. There are men that feel like they're not men if they don't have a Range Rover or some rims or a bling. You know what I'm saying? So this is really not about Sierra specifically. What it's really about is the concept of how we feel about ourselves and how people feel about who we are as it stands and how we feel about what we think we have to do to get people's attention, to get folks to look at us. That's really what the grandest scheme of my comment was about. This is probably going to be a two-parter. You probably won't watch it <laughs> at this point because the bucket-ass naked comment got everybody's attention. Like, everybody's like, wow, and you know, 
getting at me and leaving comments and posting and you know I got a bunch of bitch you jealous and all this stuff which is incredible to me because I'm not I'm not jealous of the girl I commented back with you guys I commented I said you know you know that she's beautiful and I said you know her body is nice that's neither here nor there in the grand scheme of things it's the concept that she and Bob Magazine agreed that this nudity in this magazine, which is soft porn, look in Playboy magazine. They sell those magazines in adult bookstores because of the fact that the subject matters are not supposed to be for, for non-adult viewers. Now, what I'm going to do... do is go to Jules because I went to Jules when I first heard about it to get the magazine and to see if that magazine of her on the cover is in Jules. Jules is a grocery store in Chicago. I don't know where you guys are from if y'all got um, Osco's and Walgreens and CVS's and Dwayne Reed's and, and you know chains like that across the country but these are just public grocery stores and pharmacy, pharmacies and um Walmarts and you know department stores that sell like everyday toothbrushes and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure out if kids have access to this because the bottom line of it is is it's really about what we think about nudity. It's what we project to our children about their bodies. Um, it's the right to be covered as a woman. There are t there are lots of singers and actresses who may never get a shot who are talented as hell unless they belittle themselves and whatever that means if it means not to sing a beautiful love ballad and to sing something like you know my neck and my back or to to be as clothed and as hot and as funky as you want to be in your clothes or to have to appear naked to get somebody to pay attention to your package that's really what this issue is about that's really why I posted the Sierra um, the Sierra video and the reason why I'm going to delete it at this point is because I'm getting more negative comments from people than I am positive. And not negative meaning I think what she did was great and I don't agree with you, but like bitch and jealousy and, you know, who are you and like defaming or like scratching at the surface of who I am. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to hurt your girl. I'm not trying to defame her. What Bob did successfully that they wanted to do was to have all of our asses talking about her in one way or another. Why? Because she got an album that's about to drop and she needs people to talk about her. They have magazines that they want to sell and they need people to run out to the stands to buy them. This is how our, our concept for selling works. It's called marketing. It's called publicity. It's called promotions. It's called publicity stunts. This is what I'm talking about. This is about deeper thinking. 